What is going on, my friends? Welcome to springtime in the south out here today fishing with me ancient check out his channel linked down in the description it is a stunning spring day out here folks like 68 degrees right now it's supposed to be a high of like 75 dogwoods are blooming here in the south and the red buds and we are on a lake this is only the second time we've been here and we're hoping that you can see this first spot we stopped here we're hoping that the fish are going to be shallow in all these lay downs and stuff and uh should be some hot springtime fishing but i'm just gonna explore a new lake and see what happens let's see here i think i am gonna start off with a little crappie jig here check out that chartreuse with a little like orange head on it has an internally weighted jig head and uh, i'm just gonna start off small just to Try to catch a variety. In fact, that's gonna be the theme today for me. I would not mind at all catching some springtime crappie, but at the same time, I'm using a, a little bit bigger crappie jig here, which uh, you can catch a variety of things on. Bass will not ignore this, and uh, neither will walleye, or bluegill, or catfish, or drum. I kinda like using a crappie jig, because you never know what you're gonna catch. That right there it looks like an arrow in the water an there. arrow yeah check this guy out guys you know i've been thinking about getting into boat fishing maybe this is a sign oh yeah they got one of those like nasty points on it look at that it's a quadruple something pro elite oh this is a crossbow one yeah that makes sense it's so short well i haven't been thinking about getting into crossbowing but uh that's an idea though All right, guys, this is a long, shallow point. You see those metal rods sticking up? This almost reminds me of like an abandoned launch ramp. When we get up closer, we'll kind of show you. There's a bunch of like metal in the water. Thank you, sir. I was about to eat something, but I thought I have to catch a first fish first before I eat a snack. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, like metal. Yeah, metal in the water right there. I don't know what structure used to be here, but it's probably good fishing. Thank you. All right, folks, I'm gonna try a chartreuse at cranker here. Just saw a big fish <laughs> jump. Just gonna crank it across this gravel point. Just gonna slow roll this crankbait here. Got one. On the point. Is this a drum? This might be a drum. Oh, it's a white bass. No way. He's barely hooked. Yeah, could you get the net? Because I think if I try to lift him, he'll, it might pull out. Nice. That's a good eating size. Yes, thank you, Pops. Look at that, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you. My dad suggested, he's like, here's a crankbait in case you want to throw it across that point. And that worked. You thank be. you, Pops. <laughs> nice job. First fish of the day in the live well. That is excellent. Watch this. Right across these rocks here, right in the shade. Whoa, a big, a big fish right there. Just oh, look at that, look at that schooling fish right in front of us, pops. Oh, yeah. Right when I made it cast too. All right, just see that. Look at him right there. Oh, I'm right in the strike zone. Look, at, oh guys, they're schooling under the bridge. There we go. Got him. Yep. Nice. What'd you throw? Uh, that diving crankbait. What is it? Like, oh, it was a bass. Oh, it looked like a largemouth large to me. Mouth, yeah. Oh, shoot. Not, oh, shoot, that is a largemouth. Oh, shoot, that got off. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. You, you see that minnow? Oh, look at that. Did you see? That was the coolest thing. The minnow was waking the surface, and the bass came up and smoked him. Smoked him. That was cool. I hope I got that on camera real well. Yeah, there's fish streaking right below the boat and everything. I'm hungry though, like you, Pops. I'm gonna eat something. It's like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, we'll wait for the school, hopefully, to appear. Lunch time. All right, my friends, after a sumptuous lunch, 
I'm gonna go kind of completely different here. I'm getting out a night crawler. Since we're under a bridge, there might be some walleye. I'm just putting on like that whole night crawler there. And uh, last time we were here, there's some walleye fishermen fishing this bridge, so. Right by the piling. I'm getting bit on the night crawler. Got him on the night crawler. Down in the deep stuff. See what this is? Mystery fish. Oh, it's just a little largemouth. He left, oh, I was about to say he left my worm and then he just tore it apart. I wanted to catch the variety. Nope, it's a spotted bass. We could seriously keep this one if we wanted. I feel the rough spot on his tongue. Hmm. You know, we'll throw him in there and if we want to cull him later, we can. How about that? There's no size limit on spotted bass, folks. Ooh, they are excited in there. Let's get another crawler out of here. These guys are lively. All right, little crawler, I'm gonna throw you right down here. Need you get a big one. Get me a frosty root beer while my line is sinking. Old fashioned since 1939. Oh, I'm getting bit again. Got him. Yes. Quick work. Another spotted bass pops. Up. Oh, this guy has red eyes. Wait, did I just catch one of those rare? I think I did. Pops, I think I just caught a red eye bass. One of those rare, or not rare, but if they don't have them in all parts of the country, I think this is. Oh, his red eyes went away. But guys, yeah, look how he's like a little bit grayer. Uh -huh. I've seen pictures. It's been a while since so I've seen pictures. But guys, tell me, he has a little rough spot on his tongue, it looks like. It does look like he has red eyes. Uh-huh. Is that a red eye? Could somebody tell me in the comment section? Down south, they have a type. They have several, like shoal bass. And, and in Texas, they have even more different types of rare bass. All right, little feller. Well, that is cool, guys. The variety is exactly what I wanted to do. He just takes off. I told my dad, I said, I just, I'm just going for like every species I can catch today. Oh, this old fashioned root beer, frosty root beer is good. My dad said he used to drink this when he was younger. I've got one in there t for you if you want. Oh, thank you. Reminds me of my Uncle Johnny and Aunt Gladys. And they used to. Cousin Glenn, Cousin Eldon, and Cousin Jeannie. <laughs> that was a big deal. You well, it was a, big... a party or a celebration when we had Frosty. <laughs> kind of like Andy Griffith show, uh, run up town, get a bottle of pop. It was yeah. a special, a special thing. Yep, yep. Guys, there's definitely been some hatch of like water bugs. Look at all of them on the surface. Thousands of them. Huh. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Might be the juice pops. Yes. Oh, guys, we're gonna fast forward again, but we did just find something unusual a bouldery flat. Oh, I even see, see all the brush over there? Yep. Yeah, this looks really good back here. I'm gonna throw in everything but the kitchen sink at him, folks. I think, though, a little fluke back here might be just the thing. I'm thinking for this dirty water, I'm gonna have something with a little bit of flake. I was about to just do regular watermelon. But a little bit of flake in there. Oh, hey, so I got a fish. I got a fish. You got one? Yes, nice. sir, I do. It's a good one, too. It's a good, nice. It's a good fish. This is a fish, boy. Oh, I got a hook. No, that's a bass. What is that? Pops, pops, it looks like a giant walleye. No way. It looks like it. It's a huge walleye. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Look at oh. that walleye. They have to be 15 inches to keep pops. Oh, that's, that's 15 like, inches, baby. That's I'll like, tell you that's that like right a, now. Oh, look, that's, that's over 20. 20. Oh. That's the biggest walleye we've ever caught. For a family record oh right there. Oh my gosh. Oh Look my goodness. Look at the teeth on that bad boy. Oh. Check that out. Whoa. Oh, we oh got to get a word. picture. Show that to the family. Oh that is definitely. Gosh. You've caught two in one month. Two family records. Oh my goodness. The largemouth and now the walleye. <laughs> that is so oh. good. 
those teeth, like that's oh, like that straight up just pike vicious teeth. teeth. Yes. That is. Here's the pliers. Oh, yeah, better have that. Oh. All right, hold them out there, pops. Yeah. Hold, them, hold them way out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my oh, you know, let me get the Willy Go board out, and uh, we'll oh, yeah, we'll measure him. Yeah, yeah. Then we got because I mean, if they're, if they're spawning, um, look at that. Over twenty three inches. He's twenty four inches, or uh, twenty three. Yeah, a little over twenty three. Basically, 23. basically yeah. twenty three yeah. inch yeah, 20. walleye. And you got picture? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. We're gonna eat good. We are. Good. We yes, are. Woo -woo. <laughs> nice. All right, my friends. So my dad is gonna keep fishing, and I. I'm going to cook. Check this out. Oh, I grabbed a fish by the tail. Voila, biggest catch of the day right there. This is actually a platter. I'm gonna make a big dinner for us, Pops. With all these fish we got, that platter hopefully will fill up a Chick-fil-A themed cookout here. This is the cutting board though. If you guys haven't seen this before, if you're new to my channel, we keep this on the boat at all times for the cooking part. Yes. What a beast, Pops. What a beast. I mean, for us, for, for people who haven't walleye fished before. Yeah, that's, that's the second walleye I've caught in my life. Second walleye you've caught in your life, wow. First one was when I was like 19. <laughs> oh, really? Interested to see what's in the guts of this thing, too. It's been eating like bluegill back here, or what? <laughs> Pops, I'm hope hopefully you're hungry for walleye nuggets. Look at that, folks. Just little medallions going in. Boneless, skinless chicken nuggets, <laughs> fish nuggets. Yo, know, Pops, I took a little extra time on this filet job here. And look, I got all that because I just wanted to get all the meat. Guys, let's check what's in the guts. Pops, I don't see anything in the guts. Really? And then we're saving this filet, folks. We're going to take it back home. I'm going to give it to my mama. In fact, I'll probably fry it up for her um, because she, one of her favorite freshwater fish is the old walleye. So we got half for us, half for her. It's so crazy that that fish was swimming around a few minutes ago. And, um, and it's going to be in a frying pan in just a little bit. We've had a lot of fun in this boat, Pops. Yes, sir. Since yeah. 2007. I remember you driving it down the driveway for the first time. We ran down. I remember where we'd go, we'd just sit in it. Us boys would just like, just even, we were just sitting in the driveway. And we'd imagine we were fishing or whatever. You know, it's your mom that talked me into buying it. Mama talked you into buying it? She did. <laughs> We, we well, we thought and thought about it for over a week, and uh, she said, "Lynn, the boys are only young once. It's big enough for all of you. We should just go ahead and get it." Sure, glad you did. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm breaking out the big cook setup for a big feast here. The big frying pan, big lid, and. A little R2 here. Looks like a robot. How you doing, buddy? That's good. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. Alright. I'll take you out more often from now on then, okay? I need you for the big important jobs. Alright, and then in the Ace Videos backpack, I have everything else I need. Link to these in the description. A little Ace logo on there. Keep all my cooking stuff in here. And today we're gonna try a bunch of Chick, in fact, all the Chick-fil-A seasonings. I have every single available one from Chick-fil-A sauce, ranch, and Polynesian zesty buffalo, sweet and spicy sriracha, which, is, which has been a great addition to the lineup, and barbecue. It's great dipping chicken in any one of those. It would be good dipping fish. In fact, we'll have to taste test pops and see which one tastes the best on fish. All in here, got the fuel. And this is something brand new, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. The giant bottle of my Ace First Cast Seasoning. This is a 26 ounce 
beast of a bottle for those of you who are super fans of my first cast seasoning. This is finally available in the store. I'll link it down in the description, one of the top links. Oh my, I just realized the, uh, the dial is on this side. It's always a bit risky cooking on the edge of the boat like this, folks. Don't want the... Oh, this is so nice and safe. Gotta be careful not to knock it over the edge. Peanut oil going in. Oil is always just a personal preference. Remove that. It's my first time using this. And look, we have the mouth that uh, where if you need to really pour it out, you know, or if you need to just sprinkle it out. We have that option as well. Just putting some plain fish fry in there, about half a bag, and then just dumping a bunch of my first cast seasoning in there. A little extra salt too. That's what I think. Get that a mix. I'm using Ziploc bags. Do you have one? No. Oh, I thought you had one. On a boat, sometimes you need little shortcuts, and Ziploc bags are a perfect shortcut. Walleye nuggets going in. And we just mix it around like so. Now that is the main dish for the sides. Ooh, we have sides? Two sides. Oh Check it out. Idaho waffle potato fries from, it says grown in Idaho, 100% Idaho potatoes right on there. So you know they're gonna be amazing. And they look like the Chick-fil-A waffle fries. So we're gonna fry up some of those as well. And then Chick-fil-A has um, their mac and cheese. So I thought I'd get just some uh, already made mac and cheese. All I have to do is heat it up in a pan. So we'll kind of have this like chicken in two sides, kind of this Chick-fil-A feel with all the Chick-fil-A sauces. Regular old macaroni and cheese. You know, I better read the instructions. Um, yeah, heat in a saucepan basically. Yeah, don't expect to come out on a boat and like make your like homemade mac and cheese or anything like that, but get some already made stuff and you get some nice sides rolling with your fish. All right, time to add wonderful Idaho potatoes. And we're cooking. And you gotta stir them so they don't stick together. Keep our mac and cheese stirred. All right, for this fish platter, get it. Uh, I gotta take a couple of paper towels to absorb all the fried stuff. And then I had this Chick-fil-A sandwich that I was eating yesterday, but I decided just to eat the chicken out of it, and we're gonna kind of make a fish sandwich as well. In fact, they're very nice at Chick-fil-A. They gave me an extra sandwich. It was like in my bag, and I was like, hey, I, I only ordered three, you gave me four, and they're like, ah, just keep it. That is Chick-fil-A for you. Got the ranch, garden herb, zesty buffalo, Polynesian. What are you guys' favorites, you know? I'm personally a big fan of this sweet and spicy sriracha and the ranch together combo. I guess we have the ketchup as well. You know what? I wasn't going to do this, but my mom suggested. She said, you should try Arby's Bronco sauce. Like, we have this collection of sauces at home. She's like, you should bring one of those too. Anyway, there's our platter is all ready to go. And we have the rogue Arby's Bronco sauce in there. Let's see how the fries are doing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hear the bubbling and the squeaking. Those are ready to come out, I think. I'm basically making a captain's platter here, Pops. I told what I was so hungry. <laughs> Salt them up good. Walleye nuggets going in. Yes. Everything is turning out great. We're going to have a little sunset dinner out here. It is a beautiful spring day. Last piece going in. Excellent. Now, I have this leftover bread here from my previous excursion to Chick-fil-A. Sometimes, you know, you just got to eat the chicken straight out of the bun because the chicken is so delicious. I need to find... Well, where is the piece? I think there it is. White bass. That should go well on the sandwich. And I'm also going to take this long strip. This is the spotted bass. So we can also do like a little taste test kind of a thing. This is turning out so well. Exactly as I had hoped. Wrap some warm macaroni and cheese. 
a little outdoor spatula can't grab very much. I'm a little limited in my utensils, but hey, we got mac and cheese outdoors. That's pretty darn cool. Gotta lick that. Mm. Yeah, can't let any of that go to waste. That is a strip of spotted bass. I will pops. I cut it where the spotted bass would be in strips. The walleyes and nuggets, and the white bass is in a big fillet. I'm going to put just a little bit of Chick Fil A sauce right in the middle. I actually have an extra one of these packets with me. Cooked golden brown, golden golden brown. Let's see, just like oh, oh. Look, I made a Chick-fil-A fish sandwich, the waffle fries, the nuggets, the chicken strips. I just thought these could be kind of counted as like the chicken strips, the mac and cheese, and all. <laughs> it's, time it's time to eat. I feel very proud right now. I feel very proud of this fish platter. I feel like I need to take a picture of this. Just, oh, lost, lost mac and cheese. Oh, five second rule. Mm, we're gonna need some napkins for this. Our own sunset, right as the sun is setting. Okay. Sunset dinner. What a successful what a day. Blessed day. Yeah. Blessed, yeah. yes, a very blessed day. Amazing. Would you pray for us, Quite speaking of blessed? Father in heaven, thank you so much for a good day with Asa and the fish we caught, the delightful time we had. I just ask you to bless this food to our bodies. Thank you for Asa's hands that prepared it for us. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. So we got so, the whole lineup, and then we got the rogue bronco sauce in there. I'm gonna try a. You can try the sandwich. Fish sandwich first. Let's see. Already. Tell me what you think. You know, I'm try. I've never since I've never tried. I'm gonna try the bronco sauce first. With since I've never tried it in with fries. Okay, what do you think of the sandwich? Oh, um, sorry. You didn't mean to spit on you. It's really good. It, you know, I'm so hungry. I might not be the best judge of this stuff as far as really goes, but it tastes really good. Mm. I'm going to try walleye in the spicy sriracha. Mm. And then I dip just a little bit of ranch. you got to have that little flavor. Of, oh, I'm going to just try walleye by itself. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That walleye. Wow. That walleye mm. is just delectable. Oh. You, you cooked it perfectly. So I like that that double thing you got going. That's really good. I'm mm. going to try fish in the Chick-fil-A sauce, just the classic. Okay, and this is the uh, bass? Mm. That's the spotted bass right there. Those pieces might be too. Okay. I know that piece is. Okay. Should we break it? Yeah, let's break it. We oh, man. You got the better part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try some Polynesian sauce. Mm. I, this used to be one of my favorites, I think, because it was so like new to me. But mm. I mean, it's a great sauce. But I've kind of gone back to the Chick Fil A being my favorite. I don't know why we call spicy sauce buffalo sauce. I always think of big buffaloes. Like that's never made sense to me. But you know, all the fish is so good. And what's this one here? Good in that's barbecue. Okay. You know, I haven't tried fish. You know, I kind of overlooked it. To be honest, I was like, I just overlooked it. It's fish in Chick Fil A barbecue. My mind is open. Mm. What a beautiful evening. This is something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So which one do you like better? Well, so far, I'm going this way. I've mm -hmm. enjoyed the barbecue, actually, so far. Mm -hmm. I don't care for that. What's this? Is that That's buffalo? buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo's not. No, it's not. Jam. I like it. I'm going to have to go with the sriracha. Guys, sweet and spicy sriracha. With little ranch. ranch. That is the best sauce with this fish, I think. Mm. Why is that mac and cheese so good, too? Mm -hmm. That is crazy for just, like, instant mac and cheese. Well, I think, Pops, without a doubt, the walleye is the walleye. best fish. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What, and what's your favorite sauce? I like what you're doing here with that sriracha uh -huh. and, and ranch. That is really tasty. That that goes very well mm -hmm. with fish, my friends, a spicy sriracha. So that's cool that we're both in agreement on that part. I actually yes. thought the Chick-fil-A sauce would win, but it no. comes in second. That's right. That's right. Me too. Guys, this just might be the best catch and cook I've ever done. It, it's certainly been one of the most enjoyable ones in the top three for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you in the next one.